Welcome to the Allen Institute for Brain Science technical tour. This tutorial will introduce you to a unique discovery tool called the Anatomic Gene Expression Atlas, or AGEA. This atlas is a computationally derived atlas that allows us to better understand brain organization based solely on the patterns of gene expression. To get to this application, click on the Mouse Brain Atlas button and then click on AGEA in the banner tabs. The Anatomic Gene Expression Atlas, which I'll refer to as AGEA, is a data-derived three-dimensional atlas of the adult C57 black mouse based on gene expression data from the Allen Mouse Brain Atlas. What makes this application unique is it characterizes the spatial regions of the mouse brain based solely on gene expression data and without prior input of classical anatomy. The top three panels show coronal nissel sections either straight on or used to construct the sagittal and horizontal planes of the mouse brain. To orient yourself to the areas of the brain, you can use our structure ontology, you can click on this icon to overlay the color-coded reference atlas sections, or you can go to the coronal reference atlas plate by clicking on this icon. The bottom three panels are the corresponding voxel correlation maps. In this default view, the color-coded images in the lower panels depict the correlation of every voxel in the brain to the seed voxel in the upper panel. To explain what I just said requires a little background into how the correlation map was developed. Approximately 4,000 genes were assayed by in-situ hybridization in the coronal plane. The brain was then divided up into approximately 50,000 small volumes, or voxels, 200 micrometers on a side. Each of these individual voxels could be said to have a composite gene expression profile that could be compared to the profiles of every other voxel. For example, when the crosshairs in the top panel are placed in the cortex, the corresponding images in the lower panels depicting correlation volumes indicate gene expression in the cortex has a predominantly laminar pattern. You can also compare the composite gene expression profile correlations between two separate regions of the brain by choosing a distinct region with the crosshairs in the lower panels. The correlation between the gene expression profiles is shown here. The next feature of AGEA is the clusters tool arrived at by clicking on this tab. In clusters mode, the lower panels now show a hierarchical organization of the brain based on clustering of the voxel correlation maps. In this view, the voxels are spatially organized as a binary tree, where each voxel is initially assigned to the root node of the tree. As we descend the tree, each node is bifurcated to achieve maximal dissimilarity. What this effectively does is illustrate which regions of the brain are related to the voxel you selected. For example, when you select an area such as a field in Ammon's horn, which is a part of the hippocampus, you can see that the hippocampus is closely related to the cortex. Eventually, the cortex drops off and you can see the different regions within the hippocampus. Clicking on this tab will take you to Gene Finder, the next feature in AGEA. To see some of the genes that make up the composite gene expression profile of a particular voxel, simply click the Find Genes tab and you will be taken to a page with a list of the gene names and images of the ISH data from which the composite gene expression profile was computed. Find a gene of interest, and you can take a closer look at that gene's expression profile. In the single image viewer, right-click your mouse and choose Expression Mask to see calculated expression data used to create AGEA. From this image viewer, you can also connect to the reference atlas where you can see what regions have enhanced expression. For example, area CA2, which was the original seed voxel that we chose these genes from, as well as the paraventricular nucleus of the thalamus, the lateral habenula, and the medial habenula, which are also regions, when we go back to the ISH data, that showed enhanced gene expression. Thank you for taking this tour, and for more detailed information on the development and use cases of this atlas, please see our Nature Neuroscience article. To jump right into the atlas, or for a user guide, please go to these links.